Greg. Oh, he's awake. Hey, buddy. How you doing? The main problem at the moment is just survival, you know. In this video, I'm going to give you an update, hopefully a final positive update on Greg, the UK man, homeless man here in the Philippines, Cebu City. You guys, our community, came together, raised some funds for him, and hopefully we have a solution, a positive one. I'm going to go see him. I got him uh, a rucksack, my rucksack here as well, so you can put all of his stuff in here. In the last video, I said he's going to be working there. That was incorrect. I should have chosen my words better. He's going to volunteer for an exchange for some uh, shelter over his head. And they talked on the phone, so there's not going to be extensive work or hard work or labor or any kind of paid job. It's just going to be volunteering around the guy's home in exchange for shelter. So let me clear that up. And lastly, his visa is up to date. For whoever's wondering, his tourist visa is up to date. No problems there. And he will not be working or earning money so that's not an issue either so we're gonna give him the rock sex he has all of his stuff in here and i'm gonna give him all the money that you guys donated thank you guys so much i'm so proud of our community for coming together for the gofundme and you guys have been absolutely fantastic he's got so many offers for shelter for food so we're gonna go ahead and give all that to greg and i'm gonna show you guys uh how this journey ends basically so let's go and see if greg's actually there today so i just got here i was a little bit worried because i thought he wasn't gonna be there i didn't see him but i think he's sleeping so let's go wake him up give him the good news greg Greg, is that him? Yeah, it's him. <laughs> Greg, wake up, man. Oh, he's awake. Hey, buddy, how you doing? <laughs> I'm back. Oh, you got a cold. Okay. Yeah. Uh, let's wake you up when you get a chance. I got some good news for you. Take, take your time. Yeah, no worries. See, you got a chair now. Yeah, it's I got okay. you some gifts. Christmas came early. Some Coke and some water. And I got you this rucksack here. So oh, can, brilliant. Uh, put all your stuff in here, okay? It's really big, actually. <coughs> I thought I saw you. Throat, throat, it's okay. Throat. A guy called, I think he spoke to him before, he messaged you, called Shaggy. Shaggy, okay. He turned up here. He put me in a hotel here oh. for the four nights. Wow. I'll pick it up Monday. Um, so you can't get the barangay clearance until Monday? Can't get it until Monday. Why is that? Because they're refurbishing? They're refurbishing them. all the offices. They're having them painted and God knows what. I've given them all the details to take pictures and everything, but it'll be the fucker uh, barangay clearance with the stamp on it, mm. so I can travel on it. Okay, what if we get you a ticket before that? Well, I guess you might need that in the future, right? To get around and whatnot, right? Because I could probably get you a... I can't travel before I've got the clearance. Mm -hmm. I need the clearance for them to to let me go on the boat. Yeah, but if I get you a boat ticket without the clearance, I'm sure I can use a different name or something. Because I just got off two ferries. They don't really look at the they, names. No, they don't. No, yeah. No, we don't need I to just, wait. I don't want to do anything. To, you know, I don't want to do anything yeah, that's going to get true. me in trouble. That's the only thing, you're right. So we'll do things officially. I just want to get off here off the streets yeah. as fast as possible. Oh, I do, because I'm soaking wet. It's yeah. sleep. I, you know, I had a tent. That was stolen. <laughs> uh, I was cooking eggs and selling them. Stolen. I went to the internet cafe because I haven't heard from you. Mm -hmm. and I haven't heard from Shaggy, so I wanted to try and set up an email address. Yeah. And I, I put I a red back here, and I put it down beside me, and I'm on the internet. All my stuff taken out of the bag. They just took the, the carrier bag out of the top, which had all the cigarettes in it. You know, about a thousand pesos worth of cigarettes. Mm. No, I was selling more, right? I was selling 60, yeah. 70 a day. It was keeping me going, buying food. I've got no money now. I've got nothing. I'm, I haven't been able to make anything since, since that was stolen because yeah. I haven't generated any income. I haven't seen Shaggy. He said to me he was going to help me out and get me set up and blah, blah, blah. I don't know whether he, whether he's got that sort of money or not or whether he you know, would to do that. But my main problem at the moment is just survival, you know? Yeah. Um, but, you know, I want to go and meet Dan, and, yeah, I want, I want to, you know, get some, get some. Okay, so yeah. then it's going to be uh, just till Monday, then. That's the only thing. I can thing. pick it up Monday. Yeah. yeah. Pick it up Monday, so we can, I'll figure out how to get you there. Um, that... Already waving. Nice and excited. Oh, what's going on, Greg? Thank you, we moving friend. house? So glad to see you. I'm glad to see you, too. How are you doing? You. Were you able to get your barangay clearance? I've got to pick it up on Wednesday tomorrow, tomorrow okay. because 
they're still decorating. And I went and sat there for two hours yesterday. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, so I went there, but they're still decorating. It's all it's all sheets and flipping painters. So and... Are you saying even tomorrow might not be ready then? I'm You'll hoping be... it'll be ready tomorrow. Yeah. Well, hey, thank you. You're a good man. Hello, man. Thank you so much. Hello, man. Okay. Well. How about this? I'm gonna give you Greg's contact. So I'm gonna give you, sorry, Dan's contact. Yeah. Uh, his email and his phone number. Yeah. I've got your used phone. Have okay. you? Yeah, so we got oh, you. Oh man. Yeah, so I got your phone. I got your SIM card. It's my personal SIM because we need ID to register the SIM, right? But I'm gonna give it to you. So as of December or September 25th, anything that happens with the phone is your responsibility. So I feel like using some weird websites or I don't know. No, they're, no, no, no. I'm, I'm just saying they're that. registering no, it. I'm not doing So it's my it. passport that's on the SIM. No, I'm not going to do anything, don't you? I'll, I'll give you that as well. I'll so. just use it for Facebook, yeah. email. Just to, and our communication, right? To be in touch with Dan. Realistically, I don't want to turn up. All these clothes have been in these bags for six, <laughs> nine months. Yeah. They, I want to take them to the laundry. I want to have everything clean, yeah. wrapped in plastic, put in the rucksack. When I turn up, I don't look like that. Yeah. So uh, what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you all the money that was raised through the GoFundMe and my PayPal. I'm going to show you the totals and the uh, number of people that donated. I'm going to hand over that money to you when you're ready, when you're, you got your barangay clearance, when you are washing your clothes, all that stuff. You can contact Dan. You take the bus from here to Dumaguete. Right. I want to ride. Right. Yeah, sure. I, right. So basically you have the resources, the funds and uh everything that you need to get there because uh you don't need me to hold your hand through this whole thing um no mate so, i found my way around the world i was you gonna know, say I'm you've like been to, you i'm a traveler yeah, you you've know? been to many places and now you're gonna have uh the resources that you need also if somehow somehow it doesn't work you have enough money to have like a rent for a year oh, basically yeah, right so, so no. yes yeah, so, yeah. okay so i'm gonna give you that right now and uh so that people can see exactly where they're now, I've got a little bag for you, don't worry. So, oh, right. oh, you got one as well, so at least, oh, yes. okay, maybe you don't need mine, but Palm was sweet enough oh, that, to give you this. That, and everything, uh, everything's in there. Uh, we, we counted that off camera, and I don't want to sell the people because, uh, All right. you know, you've been robbed a couple times, right? Well, so, yeah, no, this will be safe. Yeah, and also, I, I don't want to sell the total on camera because, like you mentioned, three times now in a week you've been. Know. Yeah. Yeah, I don't want people to know how much you got. They know where you live at now because people visited you by now. So um, yeah, it's yeah. probably safe not to mention. Um, so you've got the money. You saw the total number of funds and the PayPal as well, right? Yes. Sir. Okay, thank you. Is there anything you want to say to the people that went and donated? I, I'm just absolutely overwhelmed with the, the generosity of all the people, the amount of views that I had. Um, and this is going to change my life back to normal. I can get back to normal, get help, my health back. Um, hopefully this all works out in Negros. The man has very gen generously offered me a job, accommodation, and I'm going to meet him hopefully this week, Thursday, Friday. Uh, depends how long it takes to get there. I don't yeah. know that yet, but I'll find my way. And I will then set up a post and let everyone know that their money is not being wasted. I'm yeah. not an alcoholic. I'm not a drug addict. I just want to get myself set up, and that's okay. the end of it. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Greg. And this was a wonderful I journey. I just want to thank Alex so much for what he's done for me and all the time he spent doing this and communicating with people because I have no phone, no contact. He's mm -hmm. even giving me a phone so, this is the so, phone. That, nope. so that I can <laughs> I can set up an email address at yeah. last. It's not so, the newest phone, but <laughs> it'll do the trick. I even got you a charger because, because it's an older phone. The battery drains faster than a newer one, yeah, so yeah. you could charge it. Well, that's um, just fantastic. Yeah, you have 7-Eleven here, right? Hopefully, you yeah, can just you pop can in there and there, charge yeah, the phone yeah. there. Yeah, I just can't thank you enough, and I will, I will keep in contact with yeah. you, and we'll keep... I've, it, got, I've got your email. In this bag, I have uh, also Dan's phone number and his email, so you can contact right. him when you're ready to take off. It's just in the front and front of the money, so everything's in here. I have written directions as to where to go. And let's write down how to get there, just in case. Yeah. And that was a final update on Greg. So we got him the money, we got him a cell phone, uh, a bag to put everything in, and he's gonna be contacting his new uh, landlord and person he's gonna volunteer for to get some uh, proper shelter, get off the streets. I personally wanna thank you guys for everything you've done for Greg. I know a lot of people have been thanking me, but it's really true that you guys, I'm so proud of our community to come together and help somebody off the street. There's of course gonna be a lot of people talking about his condition or why he's on the streets and him making bad decisions. And whatever else might be the case, you know, I'm not perfect. I know you're not whoever you are watching this. 
people do make mistakes and we only learn you know if somebody's there to tell you to better plan for your future or to not do certain things and uh, you might have a better chance not ending up like Greg. Now, I know in the first video I said this could happen to anybody. It truly can. So sometimes you think you make a proper investment or you meet the right person. You don't really know. I'm sure if you knew he was going to be in that position, you were not chosen his lifestyle or whatever he was doing. But right now, I'm happy that we were able to come together, get him off the streets, get him to his new home. I can't take him all the way. This is my third time seeing Greg, and he just doesn't have a ground clearance. He doesn't have a stuff pack. And, but we know for sure that he's going to be off the streets by having enough money to rent a place for over a year, even if he doesn't end up going to uh, Cabancalan or that area in Dubrigetti. So that's the update. Uh, we've done our part as, as viewers by donating money for you guys and as myself coming out here several times. Uh, he's uh, going to be going there soon. He's got himself an email, a new phone, uh, contact information. He's got all the resources he needs to get himself uh, out of that position. So if you guys want to know how I'm able to travel the world for the past three years, I'm launching a brand new, completely free community where like-minded people can go ahead and learn from me how to live abroad, how to work abroad, how to like retire abroad, everything that you need to know exactly on how to do what I've been doing. So join a free community waitlist. Check out livingabroadclub.com. Now, so I'll see you guys in the next one. Hopefully this channel can grow bigger and bigger. I mean, continue doing videos like this more often. I know it's a little bit different from my usual content, but hopefully you guys have uh, enjoyed this ride. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.